Hello there and welcome to my social pathology video by which you understand underlying mechanics of uh, today's social problems and also by which you can reconfirm your life direction. Today I would like to discuss Charleston Church shootings and its perpetrator Dylan Roof. As usual, first I would like to introduce you to a brief general information and in the latter half I would like to move on to our main discussions. Okay? And let's start. It was uh, in uh, 2015, uh, July 17th, and the evening 21 Dylan Roof went to this uh, very famous black church with a long history in the area and uh, entered there with their Glock 41 and 45 caliber gun with the hollow point with the multiple magazines and he killed nine people and injured one person consequently he uh, received uh, 33 federal charges and uh, death sentence at the federal level and also at the state level he received uh, nine consecutive life sentences without parole at the state level. Although it is allegedly said that uh, Dylan agreed to plea Dylan agreed to uh, plead guilty to uh, avoid a second death sentence It is said that uh, defending himself without the attorney, he allegedly said he would rather die than uh, live based on uh, autism defense. We always need to look at the uh, perpetrator's early life to understand what caused him to act out that way. His father, Franklin, was a uh, construction worker and his mother Amy was a bartender. Before he was born the parents were divorced but uh, when Dylan was born they were temporarily reconciled. Very short moment. But uh, when he was five years old his father remarried Paige and uh, during his childhood he lived uh, with uh, his father's family and uh, his mother's family by turns so he did not have any uh, stable place to uh, live when he was still small having uh, one uh, older sister and uh, one younger sister. The point that seems outstanding is uh, around the time his father divorced again of uh, Paige, Dylan uh, developed uh, obsessive compulsive disorder 
particular about his uh, hairstyle and their uh, germs. He also started to use marijuana in his uh, middle school and also started to drink. Living uh, alternately between two uh, homes, uh, he sometimes uh, stayed with his uh, old friend's house too. Though he worked a very short time, his life was mainly into uh, drugs and alcohol and also uh, playing games. According to his uh, uncle, around uh, his 20 years old, he was uh, withdrawn socially without uh, having a driver's license, without job, and mostly stayed in his own room by himself. It is also said he cut ties with his uh, sisters and uh, his uh, mom and uh, his uh, stepmom after their divorce. And it is also reported he did not have special association with the white supremacist group nor neo-Nazi group. Although he identified himself as uh, such. Although when he was young, he had uh, black friends. He uh, later on developed into uh, having a racism idea, which is taken very uh, radical. That's a very brief uh, information about uh, Dylan Roof. But uh, how come he uh, became so radicalized in white supremacist ideas and uh, came to uh, act out to shoot, to kill nine people and injured one at a black church where they were having an evening Bible study? It is reported that uh, people who were in the church were very nice people and even very nice to Dylan, which himself reported later too. As a social pathologist, I researched for uh, some key issues that ring a bell to me that I uh, believe have uh, much to do with uh, his uh, later uh, violence. In uh, Dylan's case, what drew my attention was Paige, his uh, stepmother. As I have said, uh, he alternately uh, lived with uh, his biological mom and his biological father. And uh, his stepmom loved Dylan and his sisters unconditionally. I think this is a trustworthy information. And uh, Amy, his uh, biological mother, often left Dylan with Paige with uh, little notice. And it seems to have happened very often. And also, although when Dylan was born, their parents were reconciled briefly, they were divorced before his birth. That his father got remarried when he was five means those five years was not uh, necessarily peaceful for Dylan. Here's the value today. I am ruled that I found out researching the backgrounds of uh, so many mass murderers and serial killers is Serial killer is produced by our views, while mass murderers and mass shooters were produced by neglect. In Dylan's case, it is highly likely that he was severely neglected. We need to look at the pattern that surrounded his early life divorced before his birth and remarried when he was five and the first three years of the person's life is highly critical. 
you can say it is decisive on his later life. Because the first two years, baby's brain is still growing physically. And also, synapses are connected based upon their environmental input. So, it's highly possible that uh, Dylan's parents, biological parents, argued very much because it is reported that uh, Franklin, the Dylan's father, was uh, both uh, physically and verbally abusive to uh, his mother and his stepmother. So we can easily imagine fights were going on during those uh, critical period of Dylan. When they are fighting against each other, no attention is paid to uh, small baby Dylan. But uh, against animals, human babies biologically need mother's care. Because like horses, as soon as they are born, they can stand up, right? But uh, human babies, they cannot, especially for the first one year, one and a half years, you know, they can live on their own. They need, literally need his mother close by. And that is uh, nature's rule. But uh, hearing his uh, mother left Dylan with uh, his stepmother with little notice very often, imagining they had uh, fights all the time, based upon uh, his father's temper. Also, his father is reported to uh, stay outside because of his business. So, it is highly possible that uh, he was severely neglected during the childhood and afterwards too. Especially when uh, Franklin divorced his second wife, uh, Paige, it is allegedly reported he hired a private investigator to look into Paige's life and stuff. So he must have this uh, obsessive type of nature too. So because of the parents' characteristics of not paying much attention to kids originally and their possible fights during his critical period and later the boss and uh, he also was allegedly said to have changed many schools and stuff he was quint essential case of severe neglect and that is probably why he developed obsessive compulsive disorder. Very simply uh, explaining it, obsessive compulsive disorder develops when the child was placed in the environment that he feels he cannot control by himself. Because he is placed such an uncontrollable environment, he try to uh, control what he can. He feels very insecure about his environment. So insecurity logically stacks up inside such a person and he feels it. So he wash his hands pathologically often that is a way of his controlling what he can control. Also, he was very particular about his uh, hairstyle. You know, he cut his uh, clear line of his uh, hair over his forehead, which was also one of the defense mechanisms. Because he was neglected. He dropped out high school. Those neglected kids, they have difficulty associating with their peers. So
So that is probably why around the age 19 and 20 he socially withdrew because he did not know how to associate with others. But that is very logical, right? Because he did not have any opportunity to uh, learn social skills from his parents. Naturally, he chose to uh, stay alone rather than having the uh, insecurity with uh, those people that uh, he did not know how to associate with and uh, he could not uh, show his true himself. Remember that iron rule, right? Neglect produces mass shooters because they cannot be social beings. He was not provided enough love to live independently on his own when he was a little kid. It's just a matter of time that uh, he became complete loner and uh, start to uh, hate the world which he cannot enjoy himself at all at. And uh, in due course, choose to uh, commit suicide. But uh, because of that hate, they would uh, tend to choose murder suicide, in which he tried to uh, commit suicide involving others who were living happily in the world, which did not give any happiness to himself. But to anybody, Across the hurdle of taking his own life is very scary, right? So, in order to cross the line, they typically uh, choose to uh, be hooked into uh, radical philosophy or fundamental religion that could justify his act because he could not cross the final line on his own. So, it is not unusual that uh, he chose white supremacy and neo-Nazi philosophy, which is not really about races. White philosophy is the most powerful philosophy for white people. So, what it says actually doesn't matter. They needed something that backs up later acting out. So many people who resorted to a mass murder voluntarily choose white philosophy or fundamental religion or hooked into uh, war heroes or sometimes uh, those uh, jokers and so on, the evil character in the movies and so on, or copycats, you know, those who already conducted a uh, mass shooting that push their backs further too. They all need some kind of support to cross the final line. So it is not unusual for a person like him to self radicalized in white philosophy as uh, many are self-radicalized in uh, Islamic State philosophies and stuff without actually having uh, direct ties to those people. Anything is okay as long as it is radical and destructive and denying what is happening in today's world. So he intentionally chose uh, white philosophy. It was uh, reported he uh, ranted about uh, shooting Trayvon Martin to his uh, closest person, which is another trait of mass shooters. They always confess or leak what he is going to do to the closest people. Reportedly, he originally wanted to uh, assault the uh, College of Charleston, but uh, he could not. So 
that the Charleston church was his、uh, second target, so to speak. So it was very, very unfortunate for those、uh, good people happening to be there in that evening. So that is why he defended himself without attorney and accepted the death panel rather than clinging to、uh, living in this、uh, world which he hated so much. He didn't want to live on with the excuse of him being、uh, having autism or schizophrenia. That makes him look like a weird person to the public. It was his revenge against the world, which he could not enter because of the neglect by his parents. He didn't want to、uh, lose his honor by personality disorder or mental disease. What I would like you to know today is. Neglect produces mass shooters because it deprives them of social skills and also didn't provide positive energy to keep living on independently. That's one value. Second value is it is normal that、uh, mass shooters and mass murderers seek for some kind of radical religion or philosophy to、uh, push. Them across the final line because the hurdle was too high for them to cross over by themselves. Third value is it is a murder suicide to revenge society because he couldn't enter. This is it.、Uh, I would like you to、uh, leave a comment if something、uh, touched your mind. But、uh, this is part of the reason why we see so many mass shootings in the United States. There, so many early neglect is going on, I believe. So, without solving that problem, s we cannot even walk outside because those neglected people everywhere they can very easily snap, missing their human ties during early childhood. Anyway, if you like this kind of story, please、uh, click that、uh, red Dr. Samay logos. And uh, uh, I also、uh, put up my best videos. Okay, it was very nice talking to you. And please have a peaceful life up until next time. Okay, bye bye now.